Hey Rock Study, I am here with Dr. Johnson again, and today we're going to be talking about functional mobility. So Dr. Johnson, would you mind explaining what exactly functional mobility is in a good way to get around your house, especially getting out of bed when you're dealing with weakness or rigidity? Right, yeah, functional mobility, that's kind of the word that we therapists use, but it just means, yeah, like you said, just being able to get around, get up and down from furniture easily, get in and out of bed easily, in and out of the bathroom, things like that. It is very important, and you're right, getting in and out of bed can be one of the biggest challenges for folks. So again, we're gonna look back at the person, the timing of your medication. We think about uh, things that you can do. You can do some sort of rhythmic stretches or rhythmic, you can kind of count or kind of get yourself rolling side to side, one, two, three, up we go. Uh, most kinds of things can help with your movements, practicing, stretching. And again, uh, as we've talked about in other videos, writing down the steps maybe have it in front of you written down or talking yourself through it, can um, make a big difference in making that movement more smooth. Uh, because as we've said before, it's those automatic thoughts that kind of can elude you. So you kind of have to come up with some different strategies. And then looking at the environment, looking at the height of your bed makes a difference. I find that some beds are really, really high. And if you're having to take a step to get into your bed, that might be a little too much. Same time, they can also be too low as well. So I find that people that keep their bed height maybe at least 24 inches high and anywhere upwards, you know, up to 30 inches high is really seems to work pretty well. Again, it will depend on your height. Another thing that can be really helpful is a bed rail. I'm going to show you a picture of that here. And this is, um, this is one that I recommend to folks quite often. I really like it because it has the feet that go all the way to the floor. So I think that helps the stability. But this essentially just slides in between the mattress spring and the mattress itself and can really make a huge difference for folks. For people that are having difficulty moving their legs, I really like a leg lifter. This is one that actually has a piece of metal in it, and so it's kind of stiff, and you can easily sort of lasso it around your foot, kind of guide your legs out, and that can make a huge difference for folks. You can also do the same thing maybe with the sash of a, a robe or a long belt, or even I've used a really long towel to help people loop around their legs in order to slide their feet out. There's a lot of beds on the market now where you can raise the head of the bed, raise the foot of the bed. Those can make a huge difference. And you wanna pay attention to the method that you're using for getting out of bed. Sometimes it helps to have another person kind of watch how you do it. Usually it's most effective to do what we call a log roll, which is to roll to the side, swing your feet off, and then push yourself up as opposed to just laying in the bed and trying to come straight up. Those are just a couple suggestions for getting out of bed. Again, leave some comments. I'm happy to hear what has worked for you and what maybe you're having difficulty with, and maybe we can brainstorm together some suggestions. Yes, that's some great advice. Thank you. Um, so yeah, boxers, if you have any other questions about functional mobility, please comment on this video, and maybe Dr. Johnson would be able to answer some more questions about that. Thank happy you. Happy to.